What is happening? Welcome to another Pitcher Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock. Today we're going to talk about Kyle Bradish. So Kyle Bradish is someone you guys have requested a lot. He's had an unbelievable year. He is like second in the AL in ERA right now, and it's insane. And I'm going to tell you right now, the beginning of the season, Kyle Bradish, I was not in on because his four-seamer has cut action. And cut action on four-seamer is not something I like because it's easier to barrel, essentially. You want me to be messing above the bat, you have cut action, not a full-on cutter, so that you can get the, bear, the end of the bat. That goes into the barrel. I didn't like this. However, Kyle Bradish has pretty much moved on from it in favor of sinkers, has reduced the amount of balls in play on fastballs in general in favor of sliders and curveballs, and those have been so much better for him. The slider is elite, curveball is really good, and when both of those are working and he gets balls in play on those, that is when Bradish gets success. He wants to call strikes on the fastballs and then finish guys off either with uh, strikeouts or with outs on the breaking stuff. So watch this with the Orioles. We're going to watch two innings, the first and the fourth. It's a little bit two different innings here. So that's your first pitch, uh, 95. You can see the drop on that four-seamer, right? And then he goes with it again. I believe that is uh, another four-seamer down and away. That 1-1, one, one, we now see a changeup, okay? 90 miles per hour. Fine. This has got to be a slider now. That's his best pitch, and he gets it, and he gets the strikeout. Not the best location of that, of that slider. You want to be down and out of the zone but it's still just so hard to hit that he just takes him down. Okay, now we're going to go to the second batter here. We have G. Loff, who's doing great things. We have the sinker. I love this. First pitch sinkers are so good against right-handers generally. It's a little too high up, so he doesn't get what he wants. But um, if that does come inside, that's great. Could be an out. Um, next pitcher, you could probably get a slider for a strike here. No, he goes back to the sinker. That's great. That's a foul ball. See, that's the kind of stuff. Sinker's inside at 97. This is beauty from Bradish. You are not trying to... Don't do the four-seamer. Jam this. You either get a quick out early on. You get a foul ball. You get uh, you get a called strike. I mean, you get all the good stuff from throwing these sinkers inside early in counts. And then you want to save that slider and curveball later on. I would probably throw one more even. But you can throw the slider if you want. Yeah, that's, see, that's so filthy. After like It's just opposite directions. Starts here. Sinker goes there. Starts here. Goes there. Slider. That's just unbelievably filthy to pair. And you see that aggression. And you're probably going to throw another one here and hope that he swings out of his shoes again. Yeah, throw it a third time. Third time, and he got him. Because now he thinks like he does a fastball again, and he got him. Yeah. It's that easy. You throw it to get to two strikes. You throw it again so that they pass on one, and then you throw it when they don't expect it again. This is That's textbook. And the fact that Bradish executed all three is what's so important. You're like, no, is it the same exact pitch as the last time? Yeah, it's really hard to tell if that's going to be a slider or not. So, yeah, he still gets them, right? He was just disciplined on the previous one, but just not disciplined on the, on the last one. He didn't believe that it would be another slider. This is, again, this is just so filthy. This is so beautiful. This starts here and just goes whoop out of the zone. It's just so great. It's such a good slider. First pitch, we see the curveball, and that's really important. He needs to get strikes with the curveball, too. The slider is the put-away pitch. Um, as long as he's getting strikes with the curveball, too, that means he has to rely less on the four-seamer and the sinker. That's good. Um, just barely stole that one, by the way. Good old for the real estate. Ah, the changeup. 93 changeup? I, I don't know. I feel like that was just like a bad sink or something. Maybe it is 93 even changeup sometimes. I don't know. That probably was a situation that he didn't get deep enough in his hand. It was just kind of out. Uh, you can kind of change velocity on a changeup based on how far it goes back into your hand. Oh, man. That's just such a good slider. And that's the danger zone, too. He's trying to actually do it as a backdoor, uh, get a called strike. He's trying to get this over here to land in and instead falls over here. But fortunately, instead of landing here, it goes here because you're going to get the swing all the time. And now Brown is thinking about this. You can probably throw another one or a fastball. Oh, he throws a fastball sink. He's trying to, huh? So it's two mistake pitches that work out. Uh, this is supposed to be a front hit. This is supposed to be a complete surprise uh, to Brown, which I love. I love this approach of trying to do front hip sinkers and then like always stay inside with sinkers. Don't go away. Uh, and trying to sneak this back over because he's just so aware of this now that like if he sees this, he thinks it's going to be a slider down here. But it's going to come back over the plate. However, it gets away, right? You can see this. It gets all the way over here. So it just turns into a high heater that starts here and goes away. Uh, but Brown can't resist. So whatever. <laughs> like, that's not the MO. The MO of Kyle Bradish is not high four seamers. You guys are fastballs. You guys know I actually usually love those. Bradish isn't that guy. He's a sinker in and out guy to me. Sometimes maybe the high four seamer, but I don't really think it's good. Maybe low four seamers. And then uh, sliders and cur curveballs for strikes, sliders out of the zone and inside the zone. Uh, we're going to also watch the fourth thing a little bit different, and I want you to understand why. So uh, this is the other side of Bradish a little bit. Good. Free real estate. Love to see that. Right? Absolutely do. Uh, change up. Okay, fine. 
I don't think the changeup is that good, but when it does work, okay. Uh, misses on the four seamer here. He's trying to get this down in a way. That's fine. I, I'm all for four seamers down here. I think that's a great spot for him with it because I want to be missing down because it's a cut fastball. It's not a one to miss above the bat. It's one to miss below the bat. So that's fine with me. Um, two one. Let's see what we get. So this is this is a weird situation, right? Because I think against the lefties is the biggest problem where you can't jam right-handers. You can't jam lefties with sinkers, right? You can only jam right-handers. Four-seamer is a bit of a, of a problem. I would say you should be learning this skill because it's a cut fastball so that you should be coming in here. But if you can hit this, that's good. I don't think he's comfortable with this. Thus, you're going to see change-ups and you're going to see curveballs and then hopefully sliders underneath. That's kind of the game plan against a lefty. I feel like this needs to be a skill that Brad throws. You really should just be four-seamer saved only for for lefties either down and away or up and in. That's how I feel about that one. Really, I actually really want him to get that skill up and in. But now he has two strikes. He goes to the slider, of course, and he misses it. I would throw it again at 3-2. That's what I would do because it's just your best pitch. Now he throws a sinker, and that's fine. You got the out. Uh, you're going to get the swing all the time because this is always in the zone, right? Like that ends here. It starts here, goes there. You got it down enough, so and he rolls over it. The best hitters in baseball will push this to left field. Right, guys that are you know batting lead off for the, the athletics, they might roll over it and hopefully beat it out. But yeah, that, that's going to be an out against the athletics. Cool, good stuff. At least throwing a strike there, right? Not the greatest pitch ever, but it was down in a way enough. Like that's good. Uh, I will take that all, all day. Uh, slider missed for free wrist. You're like, oh man, I gave up with that. All right, you got the singer and sign them. That's what you do. Now oh, he throw another slider for a strike. I think this is in some ways. Like you're, this is Gilof again, right? It's the same same people you saw in the first inning. So, because he's been perfect so far this game, uh, you're trying to do something different, right? No reason, honestly, in my view, no reason. Just throw the sinker, yeah. Uh, missed in the middle, and he couldn't handle it. Right now, you throw the slider. And so here's the thing: Gilof is super hyper aware, right? Like he struck out on that slider before. Do you throw it again? What do you do? Yeah, you you can't throw a bad one. Also, it's not 89 right now; it's 86. And also, the fastball is 94, not 96, 97. Maybe a little gas by the four is interesting. Oh, that's a bad. Oh my gosh. What do you know? It's the four seamer. Like this is this is horrific. Why do I hate cut fastballs? Because they come back down into the barrel. And at one two, a guy like Gilof too is really good at, at pushing the other way. Um, he's gonna even though this is out of the zone, you're like Nick, it's out of the zone. No, no, he pushes it. This is it's supposed to be above the the bat, and he can't do it. Right. It comes back down to here. Uh, if Maybe if it goes up here, it's fine. But this is going into the barrel. And he pushes it to right field. One, two. I just can't get behind throwing a four-seamer. I just can't, Bradish. Change up here. Throw it against the right. You throw the slider. I mean, you didn't have the slider. You want to throw something different? Fine. Throw a sinker inside. Get the out that way. Don't throw this. I don't think that you actually have a good enough fastball with a cut to go upstairs. And sometimes maybe it does work. I don't think that's your M.O. And that's a really important that I want to show specifically that because that is, I think, the biggest weakness with Cal Bradish is that is that cut fastball. I think there are ways to make it work. That isn't it. Uh, that's a change of missing away. 91. That's fine against lefties, right? We're trying to figure out how this is going to work. Uh, sinker. So they're trying to go front door sinker again to Seth Brown. I, I'm still waiting for that cut fastball inside. That's the best way to use that pitch, I think. Ooh, good curveball. And he went. Look at this. I want to see this one more time. Oh, they say, why are you going to call it here? Okay. Uh, this is interesting because this is never a strike, right? Like, the camera angle is very deceiving. This essentially starts here and comes back down here. Now, he thinks it might come back enough. Doesn't have enough horizontal to come over. I can't believe they called that. Slider down in. It's got to be slider down in. Yeah. That's good. That's the best one we've seen, I think, all inning. Uh, from Bradish, and after taking it, come on, you throw it again. You know the gambit. Do it again. That was so good. Uh, you throw the changeup. Oh, come on, Blue. All right, whatever. You gave him some gifts. You gave him some gifts. That was a 92, too. That's a very hard changeup. Uh, I don't know if I'm behind that. I don't really like hard changeups. I think, actually, the best part about changeups is velocity difference. Johan and Santana will tell you all about that. Uh, and... I, uh, I mean, honestly, Cole Reagans does that. I think there isn't enough of an emphasis of change-up velocity difference. I think Alcantara can actually benefit, believe it or not, from having a slower change-up. But uh, 92, I think, is, is too close. And you want to you wanna have the gap. You want guys out in front and, and doing it. If you 
uh, watch the channel and you saw Giolito, or if it's, I don't know which one's coming out first, you'll see his uh, change up miss. Or, sorry, his change up fade that is so big at 82 and guys completely on their front foot as opposed to like the 94. That's what I think that Brad should be leaning on, on, right? There's some free real estate for strike one. Fine. What do you do now? So he tries to do a backdoor sinker. I don't like it. I don't think that Bradish is the kind of guy that can be like Aaron Nola doing backdoor sinkers. I, uh, I think if you're throwing a sinker to a right-hander, you throw it away. You can't always do the same thing, Nick. You kind of can. <laughs> you're going to miss. So it's going to happen. If you want to go away, go a fastball down and away. I don't like doing the backdoor sinker to right-handers. I think the misses turn into balls in play that generally don't work. Uh, this is the miss. And I'm glad it worked. It got in enough, honestly. The miss is normally here as opposed to here. Uh, and also, it's kind of interesting to see pitch on the more inside side go to right field because he's trying to in and out this. Um, it does actually a decent job of it. He's trying to push it to the right side because he sees this massive hole. Almost gets there, does Rooker. But he gets into the shift and that's that. And that's really Bradish. As you guys can see, he has some really good elements. That, that slider is phenomenal, right? The sinker inside of righties can be very, very effective. Uh, the changeup, I don't know if this there, but the curveball getting those strikes is a big deal. That's really how Bradish is doing this. It's so heavily rooted in that slider. If he does not have a slider on that given day, like it's not good. He did have some mistakes with it, but it can be really, really good. I do think the athletics in this one particularly helped him out a little bit. It was like this for a lot of the start, but that's Kyle Brash for you. Uh, and I'm really excited for the Orioles because I feel like there are still some adjustments that Brash can make to be even better next year and in September, hopefully, too. I think the Orioles as a team, as an organization, are doing some great things adjusting their pitchers in the right way, which we haven't seen from them in a long time. So very excited by Kyle Bradish. Um, it's not completely smoke and mirrors. Now, I still have some question marks about the fastballs and if there's anything truly that can match with the slider. But even if he's not the ERA leader, he's still a very, very good pitcher for the Orioles and will likely be so for a long time. That is it for today. Uh, make sure you leave a comment on who you want me to feature as well. Thanks so much for the comments about Bradish. I got you. Um, but that is all for today. So my name is Nick Pollock. May your bows be low and your strike outside.